Hey, so today we're going to move into how to do marking with an AFL ball. Now, if you don't have an AFL ball, that's fine. You can use um, something a little bit bigger if you've got a basketball or a big soft toy or anything that's a bit bigger, like not a tennis ball, but a bigger sort of ball, a soccer ball would do as well. And there's gonna be two ways we're gonna do our marking. Now we're gonna use our handball that we did yesterday to handball it to ourselves to mark. Now, if you have a partner, they could handball or throw it to you. We want that ball spinning backwards. So we know it's a good kick in the air if it's spinning backwards. We know it's a good handball if it's spinning backwards. Okay, so in our handball again, we've got our platform hand holding the ball our hand making a fist. And the first mark we're gonna do is marking with our 11s, which is our chest mark, which is a little bit easier. Then we're gonna practice marking with our Ws, similar to when we do a catch in basketball as well. All right, here we go. Now, you'll notice when I'm marking, I'm trying to jump and have my knee up when I'm marking. So it's good to practice that. If you find it a bit difficult, you can just mark it and hug it like normal. Make sure we're tracking the ball with our eyes and moving our feet, okay? So just like when we catch with a tennis ball, we use our hands, our feet, and our eyes, and the same for marking, okay? The reason we jump in the air is because in AFL there's other people trying to get the ball off us and they might try and spoil. And if we jump high to grab the ball, it protects us and it gives us a better chance of marking. Our next one is our Ws. Now, when we mark with our Ws, we want to have them, okay, sort of in a line like that. We don't want them straight or there's nowhere to go in. We kind of want them curved like a bowl. So the ball fits nicely in there. Now I'm going to start with my arms extended and as soon as I feel that ball I want to bring it in to my body to protect it. So marking it up high then bringing it into our 11s as well. So we kind of use our 11s when we're marking with our Ws as well. Let's have a look at that. high and if you wanted now now that we've combined a few skills we've done kicking we've done handballing we've done marking just like i had my handballing and marking together maybe if you're out in the park and you've got a footy ground near your house or some big park space you could kick the ball punt it in the air and then try to mark it yourself as well okay give that a go you could turn it into a game trying to combine your mark and then you could try and kick a goal or you could combine your mark and have a handball and have a target like a basket to try and handball it in um, especially if you don't have a partner to play with so that was my marking okay hope you give it a go and send me your replies